right, so right now I'm on my way to pick up some bumper for my Magnum. My lips are red, it's because of that. I'm on my way to Oklahoma, picking up an SRT bumper finally, with the bottom splash shield as well. I couldn't pass up the deal, especially when these are getting more harder to find, especially OEM. So, and if anything, they're gonna start going up in price because the rear bumper's already discontinued, so that's my next thing to find is, is a rear SRT bumper. But if not, then I'll just do it what I got. I got five hours left, sun's barely coming up. Well, first pit stop, halfway there. Time to continue. I just noticed my brother never took out the bear from his van, so he's gonna have to ride over here when I bring the parts back. <laughs> so, I don't know. I looked in the mirror once it got lighter now, and oh my gosh, look at that. The heck, man? Why are you here, boy? Guess what, people? We got it. OEM, bro. I got that in the splash shield, so. The splash shield is under this big fat bear. I was putting him here, but he was blocking my view from the mirror, so. There you go. I'm gonna head back, get some lunch, and head home. Real quick, to where I get my stuff from. MoparOnlinePartsStock.com You gotta put parts up, uh, parts, Mopar. I'm getting the whole front end, the grill, upper grill, lower grill, bezels, and that's it. This, I'm just gonna replace it with the LED ship as a turn signal, cause those things are expensive. I'm not planning to spend 70 bucks, I think it is, or 150 something for that. That's way too much. I'm not, I'm no freaking golden goose pooping freaking golden eggs but i'm gonna go ahead and place the order right now hopefully they have them in stock if they don't then there's another website mopar parts giant 256 bones bro but i need it all righty my order has been placed see you when the parts get here and just like that bam they're here so i just finished driving that's our t-bumper i'm gonna do this top part when i install it that way i can aim it towards the actual hood part after that, I got my grills, which are over here. Bam. The upper grill, lower grill, the fog light air duct thingies, and the clips that go for that. Which is those. There's 30 of these clips. Apparently you need 30, I think. I think. Am I wrong? And if not, then I got extra. But yeah, I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna go in and start putting this up into the bumper. Keep in mind, I don't know how this goes. I'm learning with you. But this just comes with these clips. As of right now, no freaking clue. I'm assuming I guess the bigger fatter side will go towards the bigger hole I have. I don't know. That's not working. Uh, let me figure this out. Hold on. I just damaged my freaking finger. This thing's stubborn. This is an OEM bumper, so it should fit. I mean, little crack RLT part number right there. It's not like it can't fit. It's just I think this thing was stored for so long. It got warped. Cause I didn't buy this brand new. I bought this second hand off somebody. I don't know why, but that felt like it snapped in place. Let me do this side first. This side seems legit good. So, bro, how do you put this on? Oh, there it goes. I think I got it. Man, imagine trying to take this off again. If the wrap fails, it's gonna suck. Because what I recommend is getting some pliers and opening them up a little, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Those needle nose and a regular some little pliers. Let me try something. I'm, I'm just gonna try it out. See if it works. If it doesn't, no well. Opened it a little. Let's see how that works. So far, so good. So let's just do that. We'll just do that. Open it and then put them on. I'm opening all the clips a little more. Top grill is done. Took a while, but oh my gosh, that was a pain. So what I'm noticing now. I should do those the other way because then you can see them and they're annoying. So let me just go fix that real quick. And just like that, got the upper grill. Well, I'm gonna same with the lower grill. I'm using four pieces, but I think the lower grill will hold with two, four, six. I'm gonna order four more. I'll probably order them just because I do feel it a little loose. 
I'd rather it be stiff. Dude, the grill basically curved the bumper, it seems like. It's not a flat-faced bumper anymore. Yeah, so now I'm gonna do the fog lights bezels, which is these bad boys. I think they just clip in. It seems like they just clip in, so let me just get these on there. I still, I, I, yeah, I know I still need the black stripe, but like I said, with the gray up top, I'll do that when it's on the car. So you gotta do is just make sure these clips, that clip right there, and there's a bunch of them around, make sure they all clip onto the deal. Look at that, oof! Car look sexy. Right here, I'm just gonna put LED strips for my turn signals. That looks dope, dude. Okay, it is Miguel today, working on Sergio's hideous looking car, JK. But right now, I'm being bugged because his bumpers have too much tech. Oh gosh, the lighting. It's got lighting for the grill, lighting for the underglow, and it's just too much. So, and then right now, what I'm realizing right now is the fog lights. So this is the old one, this is the old bumper. They're not matching up to the SRT bumper. So I gotta figure out why that won't, or why the screws, oh, no. It could be because I need these. <laughs> okay, so I just found out why the fogs don't work. It's because I gotta put this in there. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and remove, lift up the vehicle. Take off the wheels, take off that old piece down there, which is the other one of that, and swap the lighting, the underglow from that to that, hopefully. Okay, after a while, finally took this piece of garbage off, oops. So now basically all I'm gonna do, I don't wanna show you all this boring part, but I'm gonna replicate everything that you see, the little holes for the LEDs, I'm gonna replicate all of that into the SRT8 uh, splash shield. Thing. So without further ado, let's get to it and I'll go ahead and put that back on and Hopefully it looks better with the air ducts and the whole bumper So right now I just finished doing all of the cutouts the holes and all that for these little small little screws thingies um So for example, I was I went the easy route instead of making it like a perfect square like he did here There's no point just get a drill Drill it out if you need to make it longer, just go this way or that way, whichever way. But for example, on these SRT ones, there's, I don't know if y'all can see this little line. Okay, on this line, there's that plastic piece. See that, that part right there. So, in order to just do that, I just follow this, go here, measure it, put the other little hole there. Same with that. I already drilled out the little holes for the little screws. As you guys can see, that's where they go. But anyway, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and Tying these down with the little C-clip looking things and do all those wirings, whatever those are. I'll have to figure it out wherever they go. My brother, hopefully he won't notice it when it's on, but when he watches this part of the video, he will. So I accidentally drilled two holes, as you guys can see, which would have, those screws or that clip would have blocked the LED. Oh well, too bad. There's no going back. Real quick, the reason why they, I just realized that they, it has some difference now. To, so on the ends of these, only has one little metal clip. On the original regular ones, it has two. Oh, well, see? Who knew? Look at that! Wow! So there is a little bit of a difference, so. So, I just totally forgot. So these two cables right here is for my brother's, his, the lights that illuminate the grill. So I forgot about it, but I already, but I already changed it. So... I don't know if they're gonna stay on. I sure hope they do because there's that one and then there's that one over there. But I find odd, well, not odd, but pretty cool is I just realized the difference on these. The grill on the SRT though, it's more in, if that makes sense. Like, as you can see, there's not much of a gap, but then here, there's a big depth to it. See that? Now look at that one. What, what, where is nothing, nothing. So I think that's what differentiates these bumpers, at least partly. The other different part is the grill. In reality, it's a little more um, squintier. But now I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the, oh shoot, the fog lights. All 
Okay. <laughs> the fog lights? I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty cool. Look, oh, look at that handsome boy. You can see in the reflect. Oh, boy, ha. I mean, man. Okay, now we begin on installing the actual bumper. Just finished the fog glass, as y'all can see. Now it's time to finish the actual complete setup. See how it looks. I don't think I took video of it before. Old bumper, other than that one. But I did take pictures, so if not, I'll put those just so y'all can see. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here she is. It's our teeth bumper in full effect. I just need that little headlight, but don't mind that. I'm going to do that right now. But there she is. I did not know that the emblem is different from the RT SX tier or whatever. So I gotta either make one with some acrylic and just put wrap over that and make it gray and put the Dodge logo on there or get one custom built. Fucking train. But yeah, that's it. If y'all like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that little ring -a ding ding bell and so you can be posted or notified whenever we post a new video out. We're gonna start. Hopefully uploading more and more because my brother's getting his laptop or a computer built or he's building a computer so he could start helping you editing videos since I work now. So see how it goes. Till next time, peace. <laughs>